Hey guys, it's Kristen, and I was at the red carpet for Seven Stages to Achieve Eternal Bliss by passing through the gateway chosen by the Holy Storage at Tribeca Film Festival, and I got a chance to speak with the stars of the film, Sam Huntington and Kate Micucci. They are hilarious together, they have such great chemistry. This film is about two young people who buy an apartment in New York City, and it's really cheap, and the reason is because cult members keep coming in and out of their home. Enjoy. Who are you? I am the fan club. The fan club! The fan club. That is crazy. Yo, cause I'm a fan, man. No. So, can you tell me a little bit about Seven Stages and what drew you to this project? My character got to go really crazy, and I think that's super fun. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, a, that's good. That's true. It's tight, too. Yeah, it's quick. Um, I, uh, was, I, you know, my character spent most of the movie in pajamas. That was a huge draw. How we I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I was like, I'm not gonna have to, like, do anything what is it? I can just come to work. not really... And so that... That different, you know, like our, our, our that was uh, the only thing that drew me to this text. No, like it's a great stories. project. The script yeah, is hysterical, and, 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 and uh, uh, characters are really Dr. funny. Who's and I love really Kate. She was involved. And and we got to sing some songs, and that was cool. And it was like a whole medley of fun shit going on. You got to do a hand clap routine. Yeah, there was like a lot of challenges. No, I don't know if I'll remember. Cast was this guy, this random British dude from outer space. I'm trying to think of how it even starts. Yeah, but that's the way our my memory works. Do you like me? I suppose that's how it starts. Gives me like a French girl, Jack and Rose. Yay! So that was the. Then you're gonna have to see the movie to see the rest of the routine story. You guys play characters who get this really cheap apartment, yes. but all these cult people are coming in and things are getting crazy. Would you stay in real life for, for a cheap, yeah, for a cheap apartment? Definitely a couple. But like, you know, I don't think my kids would like that. I don't think they kids would really be into other people climbing in. Like this relationship is neither. Um, I'd be just not pushing her around. It's not like it's Tina, nor is it the Brady. Bunch of, having it's, crazy I don't want to put anybody in my normal relationship, relationship that is doomed yeah. to fail because that's they have want you been invited? To love more than they yeah, they yeah you've been there. Yeah. Yeah. You've been there. It's, there. it's it. very heartbreaking. Um, and, and then so it's now this film, like, obviously, like the idea of a cult in general is like a dark theme, but this is a comedy. So how do you balance that? Well, the cult members are very happy people. Sorry, it's just like they're very close to each other. So many great cameos. Uh, yeah. So many so so amazing people. Yeah. So, uh, each one that pops up is like a different, 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 different flavor. Yeah. Cold member. Awesome. Last question. You guys have anything else coming up that you want to share? Well, I'll just say that uh, DuckTales and Unikitty are two cartoons and new voices on, so check those out. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and click that subscribe button for more coverage from Tribeca Film Festival. See ya!